Okay guys, so uh, how's she going today? I know it's that uh, they're freaking piling up at the school again, the sons of bitches. Sons of bitches. And it's uh, I don't know, it's Wednesday today I guess or something. Like, you, see, you seriously can't do that on Friday or on a day that I'm not making a freaking video? Stupid morons, but uh, <sighs> someone's in the shop with me today. Uh, you know, big red. <clears throat> There's something I want to try. Well, I gotta invest in the welder and stuff first, right? But there's something I want to build for this guy. I'm actually thinking about building a. Uh, I was uh, lost in some. I can't remember who the hell I was talking to about it. Talking about, I think, in my last video too, but I can't remember. Of a uh, kind of like a, like a like a pusher, push blade kind of thing for for you know like for big red. Uh, it's not a blade. It's I guess it would be kind of like a box blade, just different, you know. Instead of having uh, to blade it, you know, you push it, right? And I was actually kind of thinking maybe I'll build me a pusher for Big Red because I kind of need... Because again, I'm getting kind of sick and tired of picking up wind rolls of snow. <clears throat> and, uh, and stuff. And this blade here, this blade here is getting a little wore out. I need to put a new cutting edge on her. Man, they're piling up with that skill now. For sake. sakes. Like, you know, just go somewhere else and do that. God, they even got to bring him by the freaking van load, van's load. Holy shit. I got a, got a little bit of snow to push too today, so. <clears throat> I think my mom made a little bit of a mess behind the burn barrel there, so I pulled the bar to push that off to the side and stack it. But that was kind of why I wanted to uh, make a push. I don't know if they're called a pusher, if they're called push blades or push boxes, whatever the hell you want to call them. Um, it's just like a blade, pretty much, but it's got wings on the on the sides. And uh, I'll show you here. Um, what it is is just you know like little side walls that would come out, and then of course in the snow wouldn't fall out. And I think. You can get those for just kind of a blade, but you know they're not they're not good enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna be still be uh, still pushing wind rolls of of stuff around, right? So and plus I still need a blade, so I don't want to touch this one too much because I'm still gonna need, need a blade. So what I was thinking of doing was uh, oh they're even parking in front of my house now, isn't that just fantastic? Stupid scumbags. I I think you can still get the frame, which would be the part that's hooked up to Big Red with that purple cable, and of course then get over there, and of course then the blades mounted to that, right? So that's just mounted on there with two bolts and two springs, and that's what's keeping that blade on there. So if you go, well, why can't I do that to a like a pusher? Like all you would have to do. Is by the, the the frame, which is you know all this down here, and of course see this has already got the things on it for the springs. Well, then all you'd have to do is, of course, make the brackets for the springs because I still want to put springs on it, so there is some give to it. But I well, probably wouldn't want that either. I suppose for a pusher, because all it's going to do is push. It's not going to grind or anything, right? So. But yeah, I know that you can get the side deweys and the top dewey. I still want to get the top dewey for this. Like it's just a deflector, right? Well, that it still helps to keep the snow in. Uh -oh. Excuse me, but not as good as a you know a pusher. And I figured, well, shit, she don't have to be that huge. So like this is a sixty inch, and the newer blades are sixty six. Now that's that new plastic blade that one's made for pushing it's made for more like stacking too but it'll still leave wind rolls and shit behind right and i figured 
you know, it would go just a little bit quicker for me if I had a push blade. But I still need a blade, though. And yeah, I could put, I could take on and off the side dewies, but meh. I figured, why not just build me one, you know, for fucking fun, right? Like, it all has to be is one big chunk of steel, flat steel thingy here. And then the side deweys. That's it, really. Like, you don't even need a cutting edge. Like, you know, this has got the... Well, they don't call it the cutting edge. They call it the wear bar. That's so you wear out that instead of wearing out your, your blade. Like, you know, the blade itself. Then you can just replace that chunk without having to replace the whole thing, right? That's the point of those those wear bars. I just call them cutting edges. I don't know why, but they're, they're really wear blades. And she's pretty wore out. She's due for a new one. Uh, I think I can get that on eBay, too. It's just a bolt-on. So, but uh, I figured, well, I it. I can get another year out of them. Well, I could probably get I should have one on, on spare, on hand. I also need a need a uh, new hook thing too, but I can't find them anywhere. I still might have to go to my dealer and see if he can get me a couple of those. And the same thing too with the push blade when I make it. I'm going to have to uh, make a dewey for this dewey here. So I can mount, mount this uh, dewey onto it, right? Because I don't want to have it permanent. I want it to have... See, this has got some play in it. See? You know, which is, I guess, alright. It's just so they're not... So it's not so solidly kind of like thing. Oh my god, they're piling up at school. Holy crap. They'll probably even start parking on this row too. Getting in the way of everything. Freak sakes, you freaking knobs. This is a bad place to live, I reckon. <clears throat> this guy's got it a little bit better because he's not right in front of them like I am. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well. As long as they're not destroying my property, I guess I'm okay with it, but... But uh, for the the pusher, I figured I might as well do like a 66 inch. This is a 60, this one here, and it's actually pretty good. It's been a pretty good plow for me. I've been very happy with it. So you can see how much she overlaps, right? So that's that's pretty good, you know. And uh, you can kind of see that it, that wear bar must be getting pretty wore out because I got the skid shoe set. Well, I guess it's just the way Big Red's sitting, too. they got kind of a gap between there. Once you start going, it actually kind of pushes the blade in a little more. That's why you got to have a winch. Because she digs in too damn much that way. But the new winch has been working pretty good. I'm not complaining about her. She hasn't fallen out yet. So, I think we're good. And Big Red's been pretty happy. Anyways, no, I was not happy for having to do this again. I do, I do feel bad for him having to do it all, but he's my main machine, and he's the only one that's got enough balls to even do this. The tractor would have enough balls too, but the thing is, I don't want a blade on that. I'm not just gonna fucking snow blow if we don't. It. Um, Big Red would just be a you know a backup then. So, if Big Red wants a break, that is a nice Dodge Ram truck. Ooh, baby. Hi, Dodgy. Oh, that's a diesel Cummins. Whoops. I'm guessing probably a 2500. It's not a 3500 because they're dualies. Well, there are some that are non-dualies, but you know. Yeah, park in front of my house. They're not on my yard. They're actually like across the street kind of thing. So, there comes a Ford. Yuck. So, what I was thinking of doing. Oh, he's going to park on this road. And they'll probably start parking even in freaking front of me. Like, literally, probably right there, too. Freaking knobs. Freaking knobs. Freaking goose. Yeah, run them over. Run them over. Come on. Ah, you don't get to see any action like that. Well, there was some action over there where they got drunk one day, their kids. And their kid, I don't know, either... From what they were saying, that he fell out of the window of the car. But I'm thinking that maybe he just opened the door, and he got sucked under the under the under the, one of the tires. He's not dead or anything. He's you know he was pretty banged up, but I don't know what he's doing now. He's probably still kicking somewhere, probably living life, breeding. 
whatever else the fuck they do. But, uh, for this push do you have hoping to build, I know it wouldn't be much to, to do to it. Like, really. This is, see, this has got a curve to it, right? Because it's a, it's a, it's a plow dewey. She's not really exactly made for stacking. Well, she is too, but, you know. What I figured is, I don't have to go crazy on the height. The height's not, like, I don't know how tall this blade is, but not very high. So it's just fine. But the uh, thing is that that, that freaking red truck parking in front of the freaking car. Stupid knobs. Uh, I'll see what he's going to do now. Yeah, you better get to that school. Cocksucker. Look at that. Look at that dickerness. Look at all this. Look at all this. It just never freaking stops. This is one car after a freaking another. Ugh, these freaking knobs are pissing me off. Like, if I had to do it on a fucking day, I gotta make a fucking video. If they get any worse, I'm gonna have to call it quits then for now. Wait till these bastards leave. Of course, which by then, it'll be fucking dark out. That's why I came out during the day, so you guys could fucking see something. But now they're gonna come piling up at the school, so... Well, as long as they don't, I guess, park right here, I guess I'm good with it. But, you know, freaking knobs. Sometimes they'll pile out on the whole fucking road and they won't even care. Just don't park in my yard. So, what I figured is that for the pusher, uh, I could go wider with it, like I said, like a 66 inch. Because all that all that blade's going to be doing is, uh, it's just pushing. It's not going to, uh, you know, do whatever this some bitch would do, you know, blade. See, this thing can angle, right? And I can go left and right with it. The other one, I'm not going to. It's just going to be permanently straight. So I figured, well, it's got that doohickey down in there. You'll have it on the new one, too. I could just take it off and just weld it so it's like it's seen permanently stuck straight. Because I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to, I'm not going to turn it. It's just going to be a push dewey. So... But I figured I'd just make my own. I figured if I could bolt it to the get a new frame, it's got to be the same setup. Because I would have to custom build one, you know. Yeah, I just I figured it'd be a little quicker if I could make it fit to a mount like that. Um, I'll probably just uh, paint it black too, like everything else is. So I figured it would be a little better for me because you know I'm sick and tired of having to pick up wind rolls when they get left behind. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't want to go too crazy on the height because I need to keep it lightweight and stuff. So, because even this plow here is too heavy for it. They should have made this plow lighter. It's unbelievable. And it's all steel for one thing, which is a good thing, but it's awful freaking heavy. Well, I think Big Red needs the upgraded front suspension too. Because when you put that plow on and you pick her up, that front end just sinks. You can't get like little uh, lifted doohickey things so you can get more height out of it. I think the suspension will still cave the same, but it's just at the point that it's pushing it higher up now. But I don't want to mess with the suspension too much. I'd rather just have my dealer do it, you know, see if they do it right. I still got my still got my weights on. And surprisingly, I haven't had to, had to add any more. I was thinking about adding a third one, but I've never gotten stuck. Well, I almost did get stuck a couple times, but, you know, just, you know, doing this and, you know, using your body weight to jiggle the machine around, it just kind of slowly popped out on its own, right? Uh, there's another thing I would like to do to this. I would like to do it to this plow, but I don't think it's going to work. Is... To, no, I'm going to... I want to do it to this one, either that or I can get a new one and do it to that. I don't know, but... Um, freaking cars, no coming now. Another freaking knob. Um, I want to put the the uh, I know the new ones can have them, but for some reason this one can't. But the side cylinders to make this thing pivot left or right. 
I know you can do that on the newer ones, but the oldest old guy here, I don't know for sure. I mean, I don't know where you would weld on. I just figured, now you can't go with hydraulic, you can't do that. I think if I could, you'd just have to just tee in the wiring and stuff for it, but I think... I was probably just going to go with the electric cylinders, because I'm going to a little bit cheaper. And I figured, well, I could either weld, like, for the right side, weld it onto this thing here. And I guess just weld it right onto the blade itself. Or you can even, uh, I guess, weld it. Well, I can't because the spring's in the way. I probably could even just bolt on a Dewey because you got the holes here. But I do plan on putting a top deflector on. You could bolt on a, a, a kind of like a bar. And then, you know, then you can just weld onto that. So then you're not exactly welding onto the blade. You're just welding onto the doohickey that you had bolted on. Well, really, one cylinder could probably go left and right. It just depends on how long they are, right? I figured, well, if they're too short, I could go with, with the doubles. One for left, one for right. But of course, the right would be on this side, and the left would be on that side. So, but I was going to get a, um, a Boss snow plow from the Boss company, but they want, I'm sure, well over a thousand bucks. They probably want a lot for it. And then you gotta change the setup, you know. Ah, fuck. It's un unbelievable. I thought they would have just had designed it so their stuff would hook right, in right into whatever Polaris had, you know, because some people are just not gonna wanna deal with that. I suppose you could have, you know, you could haul your four wheeler there to them and they would do it for you. Of course, they would charge you a hell of a lot, but, you know, I figured for me, well, frick it, you know, it'd just be better just to. If they would make a Dewey that would fit onto my Deweys, I would be all right. But, but the only good thing about the Boss Plow Company was, of course, that all their stuff's hydraulic. Even the ones for the ATVs, they're all hydraulic too. And you can keep your winch in place, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking that their Deweys, like you know, where this mount for this guy here, you know, that mounts underneath. Well, I'm thinking it does the same there. But then they also have it running to the damn drawbar. I haven't seen a shot of that yet, but that's just when I'm kind of thinking that they're doing something stupid. And I've seen other plows on the market where they do you do have to use your drawbar. But I think they make a Dewey so you can still put your uh, receiver hitch thing in and you can still pull the trailer. Some can do that and some can't. It just depends on what brand you get. And I didn't know this either, guys. Um, but there's one guy has suggested a Warren winch. Well, I didn't know that Warren even... They make fucking plows. I didn't know that. I would have probably would have been pretty happy with a Warren plow. They're yellow and black too, but I just got me a Polaris. Or a Glacier. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a Polaris, but... Oh, excuse me, but... What I'm thinking of doing is maybe... Like I said, I'm just going to maybe build a pusher for them. I don't want to mess with this plow too much. I'll let it just keep it as it is because I, may, I am going to need a plow. Because if we kind of do get the heavy stuff, I don't know if a pusher would do me much good. So, yeah. And I think Double Strike was saying something about that over time from ramming snow, um, all the hardware and crap can move, right? Like the mounts and stuff. They probably can't, but I'm thinking that it's just that the holes get bigger. So, I don't know what I'm going to do when this stuff gets so, so wore out. You know, I mean, they'll probably still make new parts, but see, the thing is, I'm worried about that, that that son of a bitch there is also going through, oh, come on camera, focus, what's wrong? That the dewey underneath the frame... That's what, of course, is what it's mounted to. I'm worried about that's all going to get wore out, too. You know, and then I'm going to need a whole new fucking frame just because of the freaking plow setup. But that's, you know, the way it is, I guess, because when you do stuff like this to machines, they get wore out quick because they just, they just don't like the job. Skid steers, skid steers would still get wore out, too, eventually, but they last a good long time. Of course, they don't have really bolts and you know, they got major freaking pins and 
shit like that. Well, pins wear out too, but not as quick as damn bolts probably would. So, oh my god, can you get pile up at the skill any more? Any freaking more? Jesus Christ. As long as they don't park over here, I guess I'm good with it. So, but I think that you can definitely get the the frame that my foot's on right now. So that, that's they, they call that the frame, from what the book says, the old player's book there. Um, not the manual, but the uh, the book where you can get like things for your four wheelers, like uh, windshields and crap like that, accessories. You know, it shows uh, what kind of crap you can get too and. So, I figured if I get myself a new frame, this one will probably be wore out pretty soon too. Because I know underneath there, it skids on there. <sighs> if it gets too wore out, I'll probably just have to weld on more steel. Or just buy a new one. Um, I figured as long as I get a new, new uh, frame doohickey thingy, I could probably print well do what I want from there. Because it's only it's only held on with four things, you know, two bolts, and then of course then the springs. So, well, you wouldn't really need springs either. So really, what you could do is bolt it down there, and like where the springs go, just use um, a chunk of steel, right, or some well not aluminum, but you know, square tubing crap, but of course tinier. Cut that and weld it together, and there you go, right? Something like this, but not this thick, obviously. Not this big, not full of holes. I don't know what this would have been used at one time, but I got more at the farm, too. But the other one's kind of bent to shit, but cut her up and re weld her, and she'll be a straight uh, son bitch again. So, yeah, that's just what I'm thinking of doing, boys. I don't know. If I'll do it this summer or not. Um, it really freaking sucks. I wish I had saved some money because that uh, Northern Tool welder on northerntool.com was at an all time low. Like 120 bucks. And originally it's like 180. It's like, oh shit. That would have been a perfect steal, you know? I would have gotten it for way, way less than what the damn thing's even worth. So now. When I do buy it, I'll probably be most likely paying full price because it's not on sale. Even though North Tool does have a lot of stuff on sale, like every day there's something on sale, it seems like. So that's why I like North Tool is because they have a lot of sales. And my uh, order for my stuff that I had ordered a few days ago, that should be coming tomorrow, I think. They say Thursday, and today's Wednesday, so it should be here tomorrow. It might even show up today, who knows, but... Um, just let me know what you guys think of the pusher idea. Um, I'll put some pictures at the end of the video. You guys can check it out, so you guys know what I'm talking about. For you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, then you can just watch the, you can just see the pictures. Like they don't make any really for ATVs. You just have to put the side dewies on, and that's about it. But they're not good enough. They, the snow still flies over, so I figured, well, fuck, why not make my own? You know. I sure would like to make something and see how good it does, right? Because I want to try to, you know, start doing kind of like what Bill T-Max does. You know, he builds a lot of shit, you know. And now he's talking about building a fucking big-ass uh, bucket now again. He wants, he wants a bigger one now, so he's thinking about probably doing that pretty soon. First, i got to remember, too, he's more mechanically inclined than I am. But I'm, and I'm learning off him, and I'm learning off other people, too. So, I figure, well, I'm learning stuff, I might as well put it to use. So, I just don't really want to touch anything that's got, that has a motor in it. <laughs> like, I don't want to really touch Big Red because I don't want to fuck up anything, so. So, I figured, well, if I could just build me, a, you know, like a pusher, a push blade kind of thing, I don't know what they're really called. So, some people just call them, a, I think some people call them a pusher, a box pusher, something, I don't know what they call, what they call them, but. Um, you know, who cares what, you know, really, I think they're called pushers, because, well, really, you gotta think about it, all they do is push snow, they don't really do anything else, 
So really calling it a pusher would be the best thing. Some people call it something else. I don't even know what the hell they call it, but they call it something else. And people get other people get mad at them because they're calling it totally something else. Well, you don't have to get mad over them, you know. They don't know. You just say, hey, it's not a, it's not this, it's something else, you know. But you don't have to get all cocky about it. It's like, oh, you motherfucker, it ain't that, you dumb fucking piece of shit. You know, there's no need for that crap. Say it nice, you know. Because obviously that guy that had called it something else didn't know what it was. He probably never seen one. He probably never used one. You know, give the guy a damn break. That was a long time ago, too, when I had heard that. You know, there's, there's no need for that crap. So, because the damn kid doesn't know. But he does now, because obviously somebody told him. But you don't have to have, don't have to be a dick about it, you know. So, yeah, so I figured, well, you know, why not, uh, I guess build me a, like a pusher kind of thing, you know. Like, it doesn't have to be on an angle, you know, how this blade is kind of curved, right? It, you know, it doesn't need that. It just needs to be a straight wall, pretty much, just like any other pusher would be. And, and there you go. Like, all you need is a good chunk of st uh, steel. And then you can, I guess if you wanted to, you could bolt on a cutting edge or a wear bar. Which I probably will do. I'll probably just get one off Polaris. That'll be, you know, good enough. Um, well, you could, well, you could double up on them, too. Like, if one wears out too quick. Just get longer bolts and just put on a couple more, right? Make it thicker. So this is just one bar. And she's pretty played out. But I'm going to make it last for... At least for this winter anyway. And I'll buy me one in spring. And then if I can get maybe a couple more years out of this guy, I will. I'm going to push my stuff as far as I can. Because I don't really want to... Uh, really fuck it up if I don't have to. You know, how, how bad are you going to fuck up taking off a, you know, a wear bar, right? You know, it's just bolted on. Well, <laughs> anything can happen, you know. I don't want to lose a finger either, so I'm going to do it smart. Well, I'm going to put this son of a bitch on some jack stands. i got to get me some jack stands, too. i got to get a couple of those for, uh... Well, really, I guess he needs two. Because he can use the same ones. One for Big Red, one for the tractor. I still want to get that fucking shit for that tire. That tire uh, doesn't have any air in, in, in it again. I want the tractor. She's flat again. Stupid thing. Well, she'll hold air for a few days, but then that's about it. And it's freaking empty again, so... I probably should pump it up, but, you know, what the hell's the point? It's just going to get low again. I usually just keep pumping it up, because if it sits too long, then that damn tire gets defective, and then all of a you got to buy a new one. Well, they, they get flat on the bottom. That's not good for them. they got to stay around. And if they are flat like that, then you're going to have a hell of a time pumping them up. Well, I'll be using the, the air compressor on that. Because it sure makes that quick work of filling up those tires, let me tell you. So. <sighs> but, yeah. The other thing that you got to remember, too, for the, the pusher... The thing can't be, how should I say it, like you don't want the, the back of it or the whole thing being lower because I think then the Dewey would be, would, be, would probably be too high and then you would never get the height out of it when you lift it. Like when I lift this plow all the way to, the, to as far as that cable will let me, that's pretty high. That's decent ground clearance for one of your on the road or something, you know. Oh, hi, kitty. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. Your holes all covered up. Oh, you, you see Big Red? You see Big Red? Huh? That cat's like, oh, what's this big thing doing in here? Hi, kitty. Kitty. You're missing an ear tip. She's getting a little more friendly. Or she's not that scared now. She still won't let me pet her, but... Kitty. Oh, come here. Give me. A, let me give you a kissy. I know. You like me. Your holes all covered up. I haven't even cleaned it yet. I don't know what the hell's the point. They like to drink out of that damn sewer thing, and it's not even full anymore. So, lick the damn you know, It's good enough. Yeah, it's cold, but so is that damn sewer water too. So, I did put water off for her this morning, but it unfortunately it froze. So, 
but she's not getting out there quick enough to drink it, but she don't know that I put it out, so. Sometimes my mom will put it out for me, too, because I don't feel like going out much. Sometimes I will if I have to go out and make a round or two with a snow blade here, but. Past couple days I haven't been really been doing it. Well, besides this morning, but that's about it. Man, it was so freaking nice yesterday, I think it was. Yesterday or the day before, whoo, she got 30 above out. And I'm sitting here with my overhauls on, my ski mask, and I'm fucking hot. Hot. And the Big Red was getting so damn hot that the fan was coming on every couple of minutes. Normally it doesn't do that. It comes on about every five minutes. Especially in the wintertime. In the summertime, she comes on every couple of minutes. Well, that's because it's so hot outside, you know. And then Big Red's like, oh, God, it's hot. Turn the fan on. Cool me down. In the wintertime, it really shouldn't have to come on that much. But it does. Well, that the, yesterday it sure did because it was 30 above out. I'm surprised it didn't snow like like hell, but... They weren't calling for any snow for a wee while. So... Thank God. Yeah, and I also cleaned out everything too. I got everything cleaned out and I'm done. So... I'm ready for the next snowstorm, even though I don't, yeah, I don't want it, but I mean, if, if it comes, it comes. I'm ready for it now. Winch has been working great. Plow's been working pretty good. You know, she's, she's a little, a little, uh, you know, she's on the ground now. But she's got a little slop in her, but that's because of that stupid bolt. And I don't think I really bother tightening it too much because I have to be able to angle it when I do. So, but that's, you know, well, really, I think what we could do with the, uh, with the pusher. Oh, I just got another idea. Maybe we should just do this, too. Um, build the pusher and put on cylinders for that, too, because I think, too, that when I plow, or when, you know, when I push, I'm going to be on an angle, and sometimes the snow is going to want to go a different way, and I don't want it to go that way. I want it to stay straight ahead, so then I can just angle the blade that way, and I can keep... You know, slamming the snow in the blade. I see it done a few times, you know, that, you know, just however you, son of a bitch, you're right. So, like, I figured I might as well go with the electric cylinder kind of things because I'm not going to be able to put hydraulic on here. I would like the hydraulics because they're tougher and they would take more abuse than they probably the electric ones would. If we can't go with either, then, you know, fuck, whatever, it's fine. As long as I can, you know, push it, you know, I think I would be able to stack a little better too. I really can't stack too well with this blade, but of course it does pretty good. But I'll show you here in a second. I gotta. Here comes another cat, the orange and white one. Oh, who's cat? That cat's afraid of me. There it goes now. There, there it is. I'm not gonna. Ah, oh, freaking six. You guys see it over there? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know whose cat that is. So. Hangs out, hangs out with this one over here, though, with the one that's here now. So, taking off, saw me, like, fuck you, I'm gone. I need somebody's fucking cat, because it's too damn healthy to be, to be a stranger. Oh, well, he can come back later, I guess, and get something to eat, I guess, or whatever. So, um, uh, so itchy. I don't know how much the mount or the frame would be. Probably not much, but because I'm just getting it with the frame, I'm not getting a blade or anything for it because I'm just going to build my own some bitch for it, right? And uh, you son of a bitch! It looks like something happened here, and my blade is not doing this like it should be. Like it should be pointing more. This way, so then the, the cutting edge gets more contact with the ground. Might be because of the skid shoes. But I did notice too that my plow is crooked. But I think it's because the other bolt, with, because it has the dewey on the side, so you can adjust it. I got one to adjust, but the other one wouldn't adjust. So that's why I think that's why the blade's kind of like like this. She's not perfectly straight like she should be, but she still pushes fine, so I'm just gonna go with it. Roll with it and be done with it. Maybe I'll fuck around with it more this summer. I'm not gonna really bother now. It's 
too bloody cold. I ain't gonna worry about it. So, let me know what you guys think of that idea. Like, I'm not gonna go extremely big with it because this big red already has a hell of a time wheel with, with just a 60 inch. I could have went with a smaller blade, but then the thing is that they recommend they rec they don't recommend that because then you'd be running over the damn snow. So I either got to go with another 60 inch or go with a 66 inch. Something a little bit bigger. You know, I should be happy with a 60. I'm not going extremely big, you know. I just... A lot of you guys think that, um... Well, it's usually the damn dicks, you know, that think everything... They take everything the wrong way. Like, I want, like I want to put a 100, 100 inch on here. I can't do a 100 inch, like a 100 inch, you know, wide blade. Because, well, for one, I'm never going to be able to get it in here. And two, this isn't this ain't no, ain't no damn skid steer, you know. A 60 or a 66 inch should be just fine, because Big Red can move a 60 now. And I'm sure you can move a 66 inch blade because it's not much bigger than a 60, you know, only by six inches. So, what the hell's the difference, right? So, I figured, you know, why not build a uh, like a push blade thing or for it? Because, like I said earlier, I'm getting sick and tired of picking up wind rolls. So, I don't know how much better it would work. It would probably work a little bit better than this son bitch here. But then I like this blade too because when you get the fluffy stuff, you could just give her hell and that stuff is right over. So the snow just rolls off the blade and you can just keep going, right? With a pusher, you're just going to keep piling it up, you know. But I think it would be a little better for uh, moving snow too. It depends, I guess. Like right now, a pusher would probably be okay, I guess, if you just got, let's say, like maybe two, three inches of snow and it's real soft and fluffy. A pusher would be fine. Yeah, you probably could do the heavier stuff too, but I don't know. Really, all you could do is just build the cocksucker and just put it to work and see what you can break. If you break something, then you know you fix it, make it stronger. You gotta find all those weak points, right? So, but if I can uh, get that welder, hopefully that welder will become on sale again pretty soon, because then I will freaking buy it, because I might as well if it's, you know, like, last month, well, this month, when I, well, it was whenever I had bought the damn drill, um, I went on Northern Tool and looked at that damn welder, you know, looking at my uh, wish list, and that damn thing was going for 120 bucks. I was like, you son of a bitch, because then I could have bought it, and there you go, right? Originally, those damn things are like 180, you know. So you're, you're getting it for a, a lot the freaking cheaper. But now that sale's probably over with now, so of course I'd be paying full price. Unless it comes on sale again. So. But uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think of the, the, the pusher thing idea, kind of thing you do. So. Because then if I could find another frame then we'll just go off of that because I don't want to have to make a frame because it uh, it's just too much damn work it'll work just as good anyway They're, they seem to be pretty strong like this has been through four years of hell the only thing that's missing on the bottom is paint it gets a little rusty from sitting in the shop all summer but I really should be painting it when I'm done for the season just you know to stop the rust but I don't, so, and I probably never will, because I'm just too damn lazy to do it. <laughs> so, looks like that screw is coming out, but I guess not. It's just the screw dudes for my windshield. It looks like they're kind of coming out, but I guess not. But I think I am due for a new windshield, boys. This one's getting, uh, no, it just needs to be cleaned, really, but, yeah, these windshields just, just don't last very long. I've had it on for four, mm, might as well say almost four years, but not quite that long. Because the first year I had Big Red, I didn't have a windshield. And, and then I put one on. So, but he looks a lot better, I think, with a windshield. You know. Well, it's good in the wintertime, that's for sure. Keeps Helps keep a lot of snow off you. Yeah, it helps keep the cold air off. I'm still even thinking about buying that, that, that damn cab for this thing, too, but... Ugh. Then I can't see the plow. I gotta sit down for that. 
I don't know, we'll see, but I figured it'd probably be a little um, cheaper to build that thing than it would be to uh, to buy a new one or buy something like it or something, you know. I did try to Google it, and the only thing they make for these plows are just the side deweys, and then the top dewey, and that's it. Yeah, that's your pusher, but that's that's just <clears throat> that's too bloody small. I would, I would never get anywhere with it. So figure why not build me something a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. Um, like all you have to do is probably get two chunks of steel, and I think this blade's only about a foot and a half tall. Probably I bought that. Maybe two. Maybe yeah, probably about that. I don't know. I didn't bring my tape measure, but. You probably could go about that height again, but it'll just be like a straight wall. Cause this, this blade here is curved, you know, but that's just so you can roll the snow off. Or when you're, like when you're stacking or something, but I figured do that. Get a couple of those, maybe about 66 inches long. And then just make the bracket deweys the, the same as I guess what's ever on here now, because it'd be a slight bit difference, but not much. I really probably not much at all anyway, but and then just bolt it on pretty much, and then just make this. Uh, you could either go with springs to you know have some flex, or you could just go with some steel rod or something, you know, and then it'd just be like a solid thing, right? I probably would probably want to put a spring or two on it just so it has some give because you know I do have. Um, those concrete, uh, concrete sidewalks there, and I kind of dig into them all the fucking time. Well, by the end of, uh, Christmas, that ground should be getting hard. It should be hard now, actually. Because <clears throat> I had finally moved the snow away now, so now the ground can get hard. So the ground, even like right here, that ground, that ground there should be getting nice and hard. So. But, you know, you know how that goes, right? So, <laughs> So that's what I was thinking to maybe do in the summer, because um, it really wouldn't be that hard to make it, really. I don't know if I could just get the frame for it, that's really all I would need from Polaris. I could make one, but that's a lot of the work. I figured it could save me months of work and just order, you know, another one of those. And then just make the pushy dewy, the blade part kind of thing, you know, all by hand. Because it really... It ain't gonna be that hard. You just need two straight bars of steel, you know, so it can be about maybe a two feet high, or whatever, you know, kind of whatever this plow is. And then, if you want, you can put a, a wear bar on the bottom. I probably will do that. And then, then just build your side deweys. You know, make them however long. And if you want to go to the top dewey, you could too. I might do one, but I might put it up on an angle so it, you know, keep the snow in. So, I don't know if I would use it in the heavy stuff. Like, if we got, like, another 12 inches of snow, I don't know if I would use it then. I'd probably just use the blade because if I get too much snow, then the snow could just over, you know, go over it. I don't like doing that, but, you know... So I, I wish I had a skid steer, you know, it'd be nice because then I could just get one from the boss and then there you go, all right, you're done with it, but I can't make that kind of investment. That's going to cost me way too damn much when I could make one for this, for this guy. I, hell, I could even make one for the tractor. All I would have to do is either put the three-point hitch on it. Well, I'm probably going to do that anyway. So I could really, I could build a push or do a thing on that. Or I could just, I guess, put the front, the front lifty do thing on and just go from there. But I don't really want to mess with the front end too much. I'd rather just do everything off the three point if I could. So, because another thing too is I figured, well, it's going to be a few years anyway before I actually do get the snowblower for the tractor. So I figured, why not make it a little bit easier for me and maybe build a pusher thingy for Big Red, you know? I think he could do it as long as it's pretty much all the same as this. Because I'm not going to go extremely thick on the steel. Because this stuff's here not very thick. I don't even know how thick it is. It's not very thick. And and it hasn't bent yet. So I figured I could probably get stuff that thickness, you know. The hell, it should probably be even a little bit lighter than this guy, I bet. But 
I don't know. Yeah, another thing too with, with the push dewy, you'd have to get um, those skid shoes for it. I think I could just get them, I can get them anywhere. It doesn't really matter what kind because I can just modify them and they'll fit, you know. So, I figured, you know, why not do that, right? Make me a pushy dewy, dewy thingy thingy to do. I could buy the extension thingies for this plow, but I just want a plow. I need, sometimes I need a plow because I have to plow the road to the farm. I'm not going to want to spend time swapping off shit when I could just... I can have this thing off and the other thing on probably within five seconds if I had them lined up good enough. If I had a couple... I think I can have a person to help me move, this, to move the plow. Then I can just slide the box dewey on and there you go, all right? You know, and then with the side deweys on this guy, oh, you got to go find a wrench or two, you know, and then you got to crawl down there and rip them off, you know. Fuck that. So, I think I could probably even, yeah, I think I can buy the Dewey, the frame on eBay. I think I've seen some of those going on there too for a little, for, I'm sure over a hundred bucks, but not much. But, I could give me one of those. And I think that guy, that company at the end of town, they sell steel. So, I could probably get a ch couple chunks off of them. I probably could pretty much just almost build me another blade again, too. Well, it probably would be a blade for a while until I got the side dues, because I don't know how much steel costs. Probably quite a bit. And then I'm going to have to find primer and paint to paint them, because I don't want them to rust all the shit. I'll just probably just paint them black again or something. I could, just, I could do, a, I guess, kind of like a red color like this, this guy here. I don't even know what color this is. It's red, obviously, but what kind of red, right? I don't know if it's like a sunset red. I think it's like a boardwalk red or something like that. I don't even know what color this is really on Big Red. I just bought Big Red because I like them. <sighs> I, like, I, mean, I, I like the red color. It's actually kind of nice. I really didn't even think about the color much. I was like, oh, look at those fancy rims. Look at the fancy dash. You know? I just, I liked him as he was right there, and this is what you see now, so. It's been a pretty good machine, besides the winch fuck up and the starter fuck up. Well, that seems all good now, so. Maybe we'll get a few more years out of him yet before he has another breakdown. So, but hopefully it won't be in the goddamn wintertime. Fuck. So. Because right now, like I said before, Big Red is my main machine. He's the one that does all the snow removal for me. And thank God I'm not doing anything at the farm, because holy fuck. Big Red would be so fucking played out by then. It gets played out just doing my place. I shouldn't, really shouldn't be doing the road, you know, to the farm, but sometimes you kind of have to because either I have to get there, the vet has to get there, or, you know, something, you know. And the road's got to be clear, so. I didn't do, I did plow the road a little bit over there. I went there last night, and I just made a couple of swipes, and that was about it. Uh, there wasn't much for snow on the road, so. It was mostly more off to the end, and I figured, ah, fuck it, it ain't worth plowing anyway, so. So, I figured, well, hell, I'll just, you know, let her go. But let me know what you guys think of the, uh, uh the pushy, the pushy, zooey thingy, thingy idea, idea here for Big Red. Um, I don't know if you guys know how big this plow really is, like, it's not super huge. Really. I'm not standing far back enough for you guys to get the whole thing in the... Oh, I guess I am. You know. So I figured, well, maybe another 60 inch or... I could, could probably go even a tad bit bigger with like a 66. And then just buy the frame. I think I could get the frame on eBay. And then... No, you can go to your player's dealer too. They probably give you some. And then just go from there, right? And then just build the some bitch yourself. Because it's... The damn things are only bolted into place. I figure, well, fuck, it can't be that hard to build something for it, right? You know? I don't have a plasma cutter. And, uh... Well... I shouldn't need one. I think I could just do it with the drill. If I get some drill bits to go through steel, I could just go through and do, like, a circular motion kind of thing. That would dig through it eventually. Um... 
I probably just used the air grind or the air cut off machine to cut my steel. Because since this stuff's so thin, I think a cut off wheel could easily grind through this real easy. I'd probably burn up the wheels pretty quick, but that's fine, I guess. So, but anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think. I got a little bit of snow, I guess, to move here, so I'm gonna fire at Big Red here, and uh, I got a little bit more snow to move behind the house there. Nothing too big, but my mom stacked it there, and I gotta push it now. So, but I don't know what you guys think of the pusher dewey idea. I might even have to make some holes so I can put some of these things on. So I know where the ends are, even though I probably will. But, you know, a little extra safety and stuff too. Let me know what you guys think of the pusher idea. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to make. Really. So all you have to do is make, you know, two bars this way. And then get like another chunk of bar. Cut them up. And then just weld your side DVDs on, right? That's pretty much all it. And then just, you know, some little pieces for reinforcement here and there so she, she don't warp on you or anything, right? Um, so let me know what you guys think. If you guys think I should try it this summer or not or what. Um, I might try to, uh, try to buy the welder either this month coming up or next month. I don't know for sure yet. I don't want to buy the steel yet because the steel will just start rusting immediately. So I'm going to wait off on that. I could probably get the Dewey, the frame, pretty quick. I probably could order that the month after the welder. And then, you know, get the steel and then weld all that shit together. And there you go, right? That's pretty well it to it. Like, I'm not building the fanciest thing in the world. It's just going to be built strong enough for me to work with it. So, I figured why not do it for fun, right? Might as well do something for fun. I might even gain some extra, you know, subscribers. I don't know if I've lost a few subscribers. I don't know what's up with that. They're probably just faggots, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Or they probably figure since I'm not subscribing back to them, that they'll just unsubscribe for me. Well, I don't do subs for subs anymore. That's Subscribe to me because they're going to watch my videos, you know. You watch my videos every day, I, I will subscribe back to you. But, you know, if you're not going to bother, frick it. I ain't going to bother either. So... But yeah, anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the pusher idea. Um, because then I'll try, maybe I'll try to start building it this summer. I'll try to get some extra tools and stuff. I know I definitely will need a welder for it. I shouldn't have too much of a problem with steel. I think that place at the end of town sells it. If not, I can Google it. So, I probably could even maybe even have some of it shipped to my place, to my house, too. I don't know, but we'll see. But anyways, guys, I'm probably going to take off for today. I got a little bit of snow on the move, so I better get her done. And I might even attempt to try to maybe scrape the driveway. I don't know if it needs it or not. It doesn't really look too bad, but, you know, it kind of piles up and drifting over the house. So, but anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. So I guess have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, uh, yeah, just have a good day, tubes. Thanks for watching. And my camera zoomed in. All right, All right take it easy.